Well, welcome once again, Buena Vanita, and shalom to another issue of one of my uh, music shows I got here at Cable Access. Today I discovered another band from a friend of mine, Cruz and Kenny. The band's called Frame 313. They've got a vibe, a look, a music, CDs, everything that it takes for a band that can get it on. And um, I want you to know that the reason why I got them on the show is to give them the exposure they need. And I got them right here. So they're going to do four songs. We're going to find out what they're all about at the end of the show. So why don't you guys come on up and take your positions here. You can meet my buddies up here. This is uh, my buddy James here. You guys get it on. You guys ready to show uh, the people out there what you got? Absolutely there, James. Well, here, well, get on down, James. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the band Frame 313.
plastic It's a good thing I'm elastic So I can stretch to fit the truth And let the shit pile to the
Well, what can I say, you guys? Frame 313. I mean, is there anything else really to be said? You heard them. Let's check them out, see what they got to say. You guys, thank you so much for coming down. I really appreciate it. Oh, my God, you guys have really bailed me out and did me a favor. You know what? Let me get a double shake on all you guys right there. You guys, you guys are like the man. The men there. So why don't we start off, you guys? We've got a few questions for you, and I'm sure our audience wants to kind of check out and see who you guys are. Who do we got here? Or you can speak on the mic. I'm James there, Dave. James? Let me introduce the rest of the band here, there, Dave. Go right ahead. This would be Nigel Gunville, the third. This would be. Let me introduce this gentleman himself because he's so eloquent in his speech patterns. <laughs> Please take it away. Introduce yourself and introduce this man behind the sticks. Well, you know. Uh, this is Chom. <laughs> Chom. Chom. Jimmy. This is Jim, and I'm Jeff. Jeff. All right. Well, there's the band for you. Jim. You guys, it looks like you've been working really hard, and I see, I can hear the difference in your music and live. So why don't we just start off with the first question. What's your guy's secret? I mean, where'd you get all this magic and chemistry of all this hot music? Well, Dave, it started off like this. We needed to get chicks. We needed chicks bad. <laughs> <laughs> and we all make $50,000 a year. So we hired a bunch of session musicians, Dave. Oh, you did? And we lip sync every show. Okay, no. In all seriousness. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Why don't you tell him, Bill? How do we start this, man? Go for it. Bill? Mayonnaise. It's all about mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise <laughs> and mustard. Bill? And lots of cheese. I like lots cheese. Of cheese. Uh, actually, uh, what happened is uh, he called me uh, one day, and he would not leave me alone. And so <laughs> he did. He did. He he bugged me for mu for like two months, and finally I I got just got I got really mad. And I went over to his house, and then I said, "Hey, this is cool." So we we've been working ever since. So, so there was some chemistry. Oh yeah, definitely. And definitely. so then you hooked up with these guys over here. How'd Jeff. You find oh these no, guys? They, yeah. uh, they found me. No, Jeff. Uh, Jeff and I were playing in another band, and he stole us out of that band. And, uh, and the drummer? He stole it me. I, he stole it. I was on a street corner on right next to where he was the day he was talking to him. Oh, can you think? Thank you, Jim. Hold that up, Tom. Tom. And So basically, what, what, <laughs> <laughs> what happened was there were all these people around me, and I had a pot in front of me for coins and things. <laughs> Excuse me. But it was all because I was able to do this thing that they wanted to sing songs to every once in a while. I'd just kind of get in there and just, you know, a little... little thing, and he, he would just go, yo, yeah. So there was you chemistry know, and yeah, all with sudden, you guys. And you know, we just... Yeah. And, and, and with the drummer, where'd you get him? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Recycler, dollar Recycler. fifty. Okay, typical. <laughs> <guys. laughs> yeah. All right. A buck fifty. A deal at what that. A deal. Can I ask you guys how long have you been together? Three and a half years. <laughs> Three and a half years. Oh my God, it's a long time. So if you guys are currently playing all over California, or is it just strictly L.A. or just Orange County? What's up with that? Give me the mic, Dave. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we are releasing our CD in major distribution within the next two months. If there's somebody out there that would like to donate some money to this cause, we would <laughs> mucho appreciate it. Well, well, there's there's job. Job. Oh, okay. Well, but I want to know: Are you guys playing around? Because we will we will be playing in LA County with. Oh, by the way, oh, what's up for cruising, Kenny? Hey, Kenny in the house. Here, we're going to be doing a show with him at McRed's in a couple of weeks. Uh, he's going to do a live videotape. Uh, we'll be doing some probably some shows maybe at the Troubadour if they'll let us in again after okay. we trash the place. So you're playing all over the place. Yeah. Yes, Wherever sir. you get the call. Yeah, and a lot of if you think people out there in Orange County are interested, Close. you can get the number. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll definitely get that at the end. So you guys, who's, who's inspired you? Is there any specifics? We're all totally different. Totally different? I'm, I'm, I'm like the guy who likes uh, just really out there jazz like Schofield and McLaughlin. Oh, killer. And so and like you, I know you're a big jazz guy. That's that's true. That's true. And I liked uh, I loved King's X and Soundgarden, like the, those heavy kind of bands that actually have people that sing. Right, I love them too. Are you guys in the same vein as that? No, they're kind of different. I no, mean, they're all I different. I Every like, one uh, of them's different. I like Sting, The Police. There you go. Uh, right in my alley. Old Randy Rhodes, you know, old Ozzy. Oh, there you stuff go. Stuff like that. I like that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of mixture. Steely there. Dan, yeah. And who yeah. does uh, uh, the writing? Are you guys all conglomerating with this? Everybody. Everybody writes. Everybody. Everybody Frame Three Thirteen's name is on the copyrights. Is every musician is it equally involved in the song? Because with, without one, Frame Three Thirteen wouldn't be Frame Three Thirteen. There you go. Who came up with the name of the band? James. Uh, James. James. <laughs> James. 
Jam I didn't actually come up with the name of the band. It, it was a friend. It was a friend of a friend's who gave me the idea of the uh, Abraham Zapruder film, where Kennedy was assassinated in the 313th frame. Is where Mr. Kennedy ceased to exist with the living. How about Thank that? Thank you very That's much. An interesting <laughs> call right there. Well, okay. just because it was sick. There, uh, for no other reason, it was just sick. <laughs> there it is. There it is, frame 313. So we got a whoop. There it is. Oh, sorry. Hey, excuse me. Getting, we don't do that kind of music. Hey, Simon, is that? Buddy, what are you doing here? What's happening? Oh, my God. Simon, hey. what are you doing here? I don't want this thing. What? Oh, yeah, my God, video. Vicky. Yeah. And I heard these wild and crazy guys over here playing. Yeah? You guys are hot, man. Nice. Hot, hot, right. hot, dude. Yeah. Hot potato. Yeah. Woo. Oh my God. Yeah. 58. Thank you very much. Simon, I can't believe you're here. What are you? Are you On editing or working here? Yeah, we're over here editing one of the new shows here. Cruz and Kenny's uh, going to be guy. here somewhere yeah. later on tonight, but that we're all going over to guy. McRed's That's tonight. Guy. Oh, okay. You guys coming to Isn't McRed's tonight, Thursday? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, all right. Be there. Okay. I just wanted to drop in, man, and tell you oh, how good dude. these guys are. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's great. You score. are the man for more thinking that we are the man. <laughs> you are more obvious. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's our first fan. It's our first fan. Can you believe it? Yeah. Well, Simon, God, thanks for coming down. Well, my God, I... This is, this is the band to watch. This is the right. band. Thank what? You, you guys right. watch them again. Thank you very much. And I'll see you. i got to get back to my show over here. Simon, all right. I'll see you soon, okay, buddy? Yeah. Talk to you then. Thanks, hey, you Simon. guys, look at the fan right there from... All right. What? <laughs> she works for a record label, and... If she I think he's going to do some talking there for you guys. Yep, right. yep there he goes. Hey, you guys, I want to ask you, though, that's my main thing about this uh, show right now. How did you come about the CD? Uh, and Because I know there's no record company behind you guys, and there's no thing. It's all done by you guys. So could you please let our viewers know about how you put the CD together and kind of just brief it real quick and not get too deep? Jeff, you want to do it? That, yeah, good, that, there, that, was, right. that was the... The best example of everybody, I guess, sc scrambling together to get together whatever they think they have to make a band work or something, or record a, record a tape or anything like that. We use some lady's living room with mattresses and the windows and um, everybody's cabinets and closets and stuff, and she was just out of town, and one of our good friends just let us make all this noise. And we borrowed everybody's mixers and ADATs and everything and recorded this. Go from there, man. I just don't that, that's, that's, a, that's Daniel Biggs, man. That's our buddy Daniel Biggs, because he's going to see this. How long did it take you to record this CD? <laughs> uh, the actual recording process took about six weeks. That's including everything, but actually getting it in, into a studio to master it, it was a long time coming. Yeah. More time than we wish to admit. Sure. I think the guitar player wants to say something. Yeah, well, the artwork uh, for the CD, we want to thank the world-famous Cosmo Jones for uh, helping us out with that. We wish he was here tonight, but uh, he couldn't couldn't make it. So, oh, sorry so uh, yeah, he did all the artwork and uh, all the uh, graphics, and uh, we want to thank him a lot for that. Thanks, Cosmo. That's sweet. And h how many songs are on the CD? There's 10 songs. There's 10 songs. So uh, I guess you guys are just going to be sending around and getting out there and see if you can get some bites and nibbles and yeah. get some type of deal, right? Right. It'll ac actually, we're going to try and secure a distribution first. That's smart. And yeah, then, get it and then go after college radio and little mom and pop record stores. That's right. That's the way to work start it. Start playing in approximately a 50 mile radius and see if we can move out from there. There you go. Did you want to say something? I heard no, you didn't? <laughs> so is there anything else that we should let the viewers know about how you put the CD together? Because there's a lot of bands out that I know that could be watching that want to know how to do it. And you guys, done it. I've done it many times, but it, everybody has such a different idea you know what? how I to don't put think it together. How if, if you're talking about psychologically or physically how you had no, to do the, it? No, the, the whole process <laughs> of the connections, you know, like uh, what studio to choose, you know, uh, where, what city? <coughs> yeah. If it wasn't for Earl, I, I wanted to mention his name at least once. He's the guy that let us take our living room recorded tracks into a very good place, and his ears made it happen. So it was that Signet and uh, Earl Martin. Earl Martin. Hey, Earl he's Martin. Matter, matter of fact, he's Branford Marsalis's uh, live uh, sound engineer. Oh, there you go. Hey, you guys, one important question I'm sure that our viewers would like to know, is there any message that you would like the audience to know before I wrap this up and say my final conclusion that people should know about your band that, that I don't know that they should know? Absolutely. If you can't decide what you want, and a superstar is what you see, inventory what you got. Whatever that is. in order for what you need. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now we, uh... Anyways, if you want to, uh, you know... Excel in life beyond <laughs> just being the typical nine to fiver. <laughs> this is like working a second job. You've got to want it more than anything. You got to live which it. Which means you basically have to sever every and all ties in your life except your music. Yeah, you it's have a, to really a, work a, it's it. A, it's a yeah, we spend road. a lot of time. We it spend is a lonely world. We spend a lot of time doing this. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. 
said we've become very good friends lately. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hanging around. So you guys feel there's some chemistry to where you think you're going to be around for a while and, oh, and get it on out there. You don't think it's going to be like next year all when you hate no, each other. It's, a, it's it. a love for what everybody does. You know, everybody appreciates equally. You know what each member does. It's and beautiful. It feels really good when we write. You know, right. which is probably my favorite experience in being a band is right. actually writing. Not I can live. I can see that with you guys how there's chemistry with that. And uh, do you guys? Um, uh, are you working on another CD, or is this the only one for for right no, now? No, absolutely. We'll, we'll once we get this one released and we start doing a little touring around here, then we'll start recording the CD at the same time because you kind of have to right. do it all at the same time. There's no time to do one or the other. Right. So that's great, you guys. Well, hey, you know what? I guess we're gonna I guess come to the conclusion here. We got another minute or so, you guys. You know, I want to thank you all again for coming down. Let me thank get the you official, very much, James. Dave. You yeah. guys, you guys are yeah, great. Thanks, Dave. Thanks you a lot. Guys, the official. Thank you. All thanks right. A lot. Guys, thank th you very much. You guys, the best yeah. of luck to you. <laughs> Success to your families, to your your career in music. I hope to see you around. I'm a fan. So Excellent. welcome to right. Cable Access here. So you guys, the best of luck. Give the world some music and get it on. So I'll just wrap it up here, and we'll talk and hang out at the end of this. So to our viewers out there, thank you all for watching. This is the band Frame 313. You saw a little taste of what they're about. But actually, if you see them live, it's about three times the level of what you see here. So if you have any questions or want any information about my show or the band, contact me at the end of the credits. You'll see a phone number. And if there's any bands out there that uh, want to get on a show and get a little of exposure like I'm doing for these guys, call me and let me check you out if I like you, you know, or if I don't, you know, we'll work something out. So watch Cable Access, you know. Don't let's worry let's about give it. the world some music and see what this is all about. So that's basically it. So to all our viewers out there, have a good one. Adios. Vida Zain. Sayonara. Shalom. Popka Mai. And all, to all our friends out there in Europe and everybody, have a good one. Peace, love. Good night. We'll see you then. Mm -hmm. Talk to you then. Long live the Del Rubio triplets. Yeah! All right, guys. Closer than you